The Gun Show live from Madison Square Garden, the greatest city in the world. They say that never ever sleeps. Everyone's not what they're doing. Stop, focus, pay attention. I've become friends with uh, this band, and uh, I'm not really sure why, but uh, we are friends now, unfortunately. And uh, they got a huge buzz going on from all of you out there. The name of the band is called Paradise Fears. Here's their singer. His name is Sam. Hello, sir. Hey, what's up, Guns? Chilling, man. Thanks for coming on. Uh, I appreciate it, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, I I so, I so I first met you guys on the All Time Low tour, which was yeah, yeah. Uh, which was uh, an eye opening tour for you guys as well. I know you guys were like a young band and stuff, but that was a hell of a tour to uh, kind of like break through the industry on, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, we didn't uh, we, we didn't we didn't mess around. We jumped we tried, tried to jump straight to the top, and it was. Yeah, no, it like ripped our eyes open. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Normally, you know, you build up. I mean, you guys had played other shows, obviously, before the All Time Low shows, but uh, but uh, yeah, but I, nothing nearly that big, <laughs> man. Like, the show was like a hundred kids, and all of a sudden we walk out to two two thousand, and we're like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, well, we got this going for us, you know. And it's yeah. just like, and you had to like set up with like li- li- uh, lines and wires and things that you never even seen before. You're like, what? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it was wild. It's like, where's the where's the surge protector? Like, that's all you're, you know, in the past. <laughs> so awesome, man. Listen, it's Twitter.com says Paradise Fears, but um, I want to have you on because the uh, the word of mouth and the the buzz has been. Uh, pretty crazy for you guys lately let's just talk about that man how do you think what do you think that attests to it's uh i don't know i think it's a large combination of things we're just trying to keep as busy as possible we're doing a lot like uh we've done a lot of great tours we did that all-time low tour we went out the cabin the summer set um did a tour with the ready set um and that's been going really really well we've been doing the whole youtube cover thing and those are generating a lot of attention for us um and uh yeah i don't know it's just a lot of people a lot of people are getting kind of excited about it which is really cool you also played the, um, the uh, I'm pretty sure it was close to a sellout, the Raleigh Palooza tour, the show that, yeah. <laughs> that I was... I, mean, I, think, I think that thing was like only like 7,000 tickets from selling out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Clearly, yeah, only 7,000 out of a 7,200 cap. So, yeah. <laughs> no, but we loved them. That was cool. A great lineup there. I got to see you guys down there. Out of all places to see guns, did you think you would see them in fucking Raleigh? Yeah, no, I was like, what the hell is he doing here? What... <laughs> It's like whose tour bus did he wake up on? And exactly. That's what I always. I feel like I keep seeing you in like random. I don't even know where you live. <laughs> we'll keep I'll be it. Honest, I didn't even. I didn't even know what you did until you called me. I was like, oh, he's got a radio show. <laughs> it's like, why does this kid keep texting me, saying horrible things to me? So, <laughs> uh, listen, you guys were just in. Uh, you guys were just in New York City on Sunday, and uh, I got to give this though for, uh, you know, for uh, I got to give props and also thank you because we had talked. Um, we actually had hit me up and told me that you guys were going to be playing the show, and I was like, all right, well, do you guys, do you think you can come through earlier? And you actually hit me up, like, the day before, like, even that day, and, like, apologized because I know you guys had to do other things, but normally people yeah. wouldn't do that, or, like, you know, for the scumbags uh, out there, scumbags out there wouldn't... That's, that's that Midwest politeness, that <laughs> Midwest ethic. Yeah, that'll be gone soon, so... <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I do appreciate that, man, like, that's cool, so thanks for that. Not a problem. Well, uh, yeah, we really—I mean, we really wanted to come in. We wanted to play some music for you. Yeah, uh, the show itself was. I've heard about how much you love our band, man. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, from Brian Dale's out there, who we hate. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did you first come in? You and Brian Dale's have, uh, you know, the the first of all, DeLeon and. Um, Brian and myself all kind of hate each other, but by hate, we kind of all, you know, really hate each other, but I think you might be thrown into the mix now, man. How did you come across this with I know, Brian? I know, it's weird. I don't know. It's, uh, I, it's, it's, that's, a, that's a weird brothership to kind of be walking into, but, uh, I mean, we toured with both of those bands, and it was, um, there's always kind of like a little singer's cult of, uh, <laughs> like, on every tour I've ever been on. Like, <laughs> the singers kind of bond together about, like, you know, not wanting to drive and like <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> right, what singers do. And so, yeah. Exactly. So we, uh, and yeah, I mean, I just happened to get along pretty well with those guys. And, uh, but um, you're the one that, uh, aren't you the one that Brian's ID looks just like you? <laughs> Are we allowed to say that on the air? No, no comment. <laughs> I may or may not have seen you at a bar out there and, <laughs> and be like, how the hell did you get in here? So awesome though. Yeah, no, but then we actually wrote a couple of songs with both of those guys for our upcoming record. Cool. Well, let's go. Well, let's mention that. But uh, first, we got a. Uh, you just played this past Sunday in New York City. Practically, I mean, the turnout was great. People were telling me that fucking a lot of kids showed up. It was nuts, man. Yeah, it was. I mean, we. I think. I think. Our. It, they told us it was going to sell out at three hundred, and I think they sold like three hundred sixty tickets or something. So <laughs> sick. It's not too bad. So that was. 
That was insane, yeah. And now, right now, you guys are kind of doing like showcases right now and stuff, or what? Uh, I something kind of, but like we're not really. I mean, honestly, like getting getting a label, getting a manager, like a lot, of, like a lot of like representation questions are kind of the farthest thing from our mind. Right. We figure if we just keep focusing on like putting out content and touring and constantly kind of being in people's faces, that stuff will come. Mm -hmm. We don't want, we don't want to make that a priority. Right. And I mean the word of mouth is obviously working out there because you just got my best friends in the world of Fred the Sickest Kids and you're doing the <laughs> the best tour name ever, the One Direction. Yeah, yeah. Tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the One Direction tour. Me. I did like a double take when I heard that tour name. I was like, "Wait, One Direction's not on the tour." Like that would be and <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, those those crappy, crappy Forever the Sickest Kids the, Those kids, they're very sneaky like that. I think Plug and Sarah's on it as well. So uh, that should be a, <laughs> I think that should be a fun tour. Uh, now, there's only Midwest states available right now, but are, there are going to be more, right? There's been qu some question on that. You guys are doing more uh, than... I mean, I'm not, I'm not super in the loop about it, I'll be honest. We just, we just cited the agency group, so I, they just keep calling me and being like, hey, you're, this awesome show you're playing, this awesome show you're playing, and I'm just, I'm like, cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, be I, I believe there are more that are going. Well, there are. I'm just I'm eventually, but for right now, yeah. for this particular, like that, that that's a, the ones that are released right now are the only ones in those areas. Right, right, right. Well, there are. I'm just letting you know. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there will be more. So <laughs> there you go. And also the audience up there. I was giving you an open-ended uh, question. Shout out to the agency group, by the way. Congrats on that. I remember you telling me yeah, about yeah, that. Thank you so much. Shapiro and all of them are definitely ballers. So. Yeah, yeah, man. We've got that. They're like the, they're the greatest agency in the world. We've got a great agent. Um, now you have new T-shirts out there that say the actual word "ball" on them. Now, do you realize how uh, taken back I was from that? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I just figured you'd want one of the shirts. <laughs> you know, I say the word "ball" all the time, right? No, I know it. I hear it all the time. I see, I see shirts all the time that just say "ball." And we are. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, and I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in this constant, perpetual struggle to define the word ball in because right. I never really know. I don't know exactly. What, I mean, do you have a definition? That you oh, no, no, no. It's like, oh, ball in? Question mark. And it's like, yeah, dude, ball in. But then you can be like, yo, you want a ball tonight? It's like, yeah, dude, ball in. Like, there's a whole, so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's so, I had no idea it was so versatile. See that? There's four contexts with it right there. <laughs> See, we were, uh, we, did a, we did a cover of this song, Payphone, of that, you know, the Murray 5 song with Peach right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wrote my own rap verse for it because I wasn't a huge fan of the Wiz verse. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, I wanted to put something in there about how we come from South Dakota. So I said we went from Balin to Ballin, like Balin A to Ballin. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's awesome. That's pretty good right there. Which is, which, is, which, is, which is funny because none of us have ever paled any hay. Like right. Maybe <laughs> one of our guitar players like touched some hay once, but I mean, we're like, <laughs> right. we're yeah. as urban as South Dakota gets. We don't, we don't spend our days in the field. What? Oh, really? I thought that's all that you guys do out there is grow, is grow corn and I run mean, and run cross yeah, country. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've, milked, I've, I've milked some cows in my life. I bet you have. <laughs> so have I in the bedroom balling. Well, well, oh, close you. There it is, balling. <laughs> um, but listen, so everyone can go pick up the merch, and it's twitter.com says Paradise Fears. Uh, is there a main website as well that you want me to give? Obviously, the Facebook too is available. So but yeah, yeah, we do fa facebook.com backslash Paradise Fears. Pretty much anything.com backslash Paradise Fears is going to land you on one of our sites. The big picture of us. Cool. Well, you guys come highly recommended. Uh, well, I, I'm kind of highly recommending you to other people out there. So if you guys don't know them, uh -huh. learn them. Uh, now, as far as uh, new songs and writing goes, um, I know that you've been kind of just messing around with uh, different people, different you know other band people. Uh, what's the status on uh, new songs or something? Yeah, we, uh, we're kind of taking our time with the release because we don't want to release it until we have like you know 11 or 12 songs that we are really, really confident in and really, really happy with. Okay. So we've been doing like a ton of sessions. I mean, I've written with. Yeah, I, like I said, Brian, Alex, a couple of songs with Dave Cook from my favorite, um, we used to be in a band called My Favorite Highway. Hell yeah, David um, Cook, baby. Dude, I love David Cook. Yeah, My Favorite Highway was such a good band. And then, uh, dude, he did... they were incredible. That CD was amazing. <laughs> they actually played a show at my at my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> my apartment and we yeah, really? we sold tickets it was like their farewell tour we sold tickets like 75 kids showed up at to Guns's apartment we had like kegs and everything it was a shit show <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, awesome that's what he was telling me he was like he, uh, they, they, their last their farewell tour was like a house show like with <laughs> tickets yeah that's wild man I didn't know you were a host of <laughs> yeah I was one of the shows Dude, if, I have, if I would have known that I'd have been like screw Webster we're just playing at Guns' apartment yeah damn right got a huge ass backyard dude it's fucking sick so I'm a ball um, but uh, so, <laughs> so you've been writing right now. Um, you do have songs completed right now, or is it just ideas and shit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got songs completed, and then we're in the process of kind of like as we write them, we're trying to like 
record them and work toward a finished product. So I think eventually, I think in like two months, we're gonna we're gonna stop, look at it all, and be like, okay, here's a full album, like it's ready to go now. I can. Um, mm-hmm. But we've we've definitely got like six or seven songs that are that we're really sold on. Good man. Well, you guys have I'm a excited u- for people to hear. You guys have a unique. We're speaking here with Sam and losing our uh, Paradise Figures. You guys definitely have a, a unique style. It's cool to see the progression and how you guys are growing. Uh, this One Direction tour, uh, well, <laughs> the From the Sickest Kids One Direction tour. Uh, it's going to be fun for you guys as well. Maybe you can showcase some new songs or like some new ideas on that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we're, I think we're definitely planning on playing a new one on that. On that tour, um, I get just, like I said, I enjoy hanging out with you. I enjoy drinking beers or uh, drinking your beers while you st- stand there. But um, <laughs> what? Uh, so I just saw the music video, and so I don't know. Like I don't stalk you guys. I don't know all the info behind you guys. I just saw the music video for Sanctuary. How did you get into a church? Like that's, how- <laughs> uh, my my dad is actually a pastor. That's my dad's church. Oh, okay, good. So that that was I went, that- I went growing up. Keep going. It's a, it's in South Dakota. It's a, it was like an incredibly personal project for us because the. The song itself was written about that room and that piano in that room. Like, sick. So that's convenient yeah, then yeah. that you were able to do that. Because I was like, what kind of church would a lot like? Did you have to <laughs> would allow you guys to just walk no, especially, in? Especially because I'm like jumping all over their pews. And stuff, like. <laughs> yeah. I honestly just walked it before him, and I was like, what is going on here? How, like, like did they build a church? Like, you know, like, like that's awesome, man. You know, my, my dad, my dad was there the whole time while we were shooting. though, just. Standing in the corner, smiling, cheering us on. Right, cool, man. At least you got a good support system around you. So yeah, yeah. Um, you're living in Nashville nowadays, or hanging out a lot there? Well, yeah, we spend a ton of time in Nashville writing. We actually, we're still from, we still live in South Dakota. But we haven't, I mean, we never, we're never home. Like, right. well, we'll give a shout out to South Dakota right now. So yeah, yeah. We're anybody who's ever coming through South Dakota, stop by for a million and <laughs> check it out. I thought. I thought you'd probably run into one of us. Right. Uh, you, maybe you guys can get a key to the city pretty soon. The, the key. Man, to- that's what we're working on, man. <laughs> I think. That, I think. I mean, there's only like three thousand year-round residents, so uh, <laughs> so- it's not a big key, like. <laughs> so the <laughs> the odds are looking pretty good for you guys then. So. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Sam, you're a great American. You have some pull with that. Again, I don't really know what you do for a living. So right. You have some pull with the mayor of Vermillion. Like. <laughs> you don't know. I'm just I'm just that 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 name out there, Guns. It's like, oh, all right. Yeah. Exactly. They were like, oh, Guns, yeah, he's balling. <laughs> exactly. I'll end it on that because that was awesome. Uh, it's Twitter.com. says Paradise Fears. you got a rabid fan base out there. They rule. And uh, you're a great American. Yeah, they're incredible, man. I'm calling you a great American. Will you say thank you already? Thank you. All right, you're a great American. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. If you don't know now, you do know Sam, Paradise Fears, it's the gun show.